Good morning, coders. Hello, coders. Whoops. Sort the microphone out. <laughs> Hope everyone is doing well. There's a little bit of flicker on this uh, webcam. Let me see if I can just quickly adjust it. Bear with me just a second. There is a, an app I use. It's Logitech Camera Settings. Sometimes, yeah, let's take out the focus. And then let's deal with the flicker. There we go. That should be better now. Good, good, good. Okay, so today we're going to be uh, continuing on the howtocowell.net uh, microservices that I'm building, uh, building out the e-learning course. Um, we're also going to be chatting um, with about some potential changes afoot with the stream um, as we go along as well. So I'm going to dive right into the code now. So press this button. Oh, no, I've got. <laughs> yes. So um, before I start, I should say that uh, I have a folding team. Uh, if you're folding at home, um, then uh, do consider joining the, joining the team. Or if you're, you haven't folded before, then please consider doing so. Um, so folding is a way of using your spare compute power to help uh, scientists, researchers, research uh, disease proteins at the moment they are they are um, uh, helping researchers uh, research COVID-19 so uh, it's a great thing to do right now let's see if we can load the team up um, maybe not they, they, they are having obviously a, a lot of interest at the moment therefore their uh, their psych uh, is is misbehaving shall we say um, but uh, what I'm doing here in these two tabs, these are, I've SSH'd into two uh, VPSs that I own um, and I am folding through those <laughs> as well as folding through the Mac mini behind me and this iMac and my laptop and various other uh, servers on the net. Um, Let's see, have we got that team? No, gateway timed out. <laughs> ah, that's a shame. There is a few of us doing it, which is nice. Which is nice. The team number, by the way, is 236-997. I'll put that into the, to the, uh, the chat. And what I did last week is I created a, um, a Docker... Um, a Docker image for you to use on VPS servers, if you want. So we, we'll just—I'll just quickly have a look at this, and then we'll get into the get into the uh, get into the code for the day. Um, do do do. So here we go. So this is how to code well. Forward, uh, this is GitHub.com forward slash how to code well forward slash folding at home. Put this into the chat as well if anybody's interested. Um, essentially what it is is a way of uh, creating your own folding server uh, using uh, using Docker. So you can run it, spin it up using, if you've got Docker Compose, it's probably the quickest and easiest way. You just do this, Docker Compose up hyphen D hyphen hyphen build. It runs against the, um, it runs against, sorry, it runs against, if I go to here, uh, the image that I've created, how to go well folding at home. So you can uh, tackle that as well. Let's, let's see if we can get to, to, the, to the hub, Docker hub. Uh, here we go. So this is the one it uses. It's been downloaded 28 times already, which is nice to see. Uh, I will put a link in the chat as well. So there you go. If you want to uh, do some folding, then uh, do do check that out. Do check that out. Okay. On with today's um, code. So what we're doing today is we're taking a look at... Um, oh, by the way, these are live. So I'm tailing the logs out. 
Um, so you'll see hopefully these change. This one here, um, I think it's an issue with the file system on the the actual server that I've got here. It is it is running. If I scroll up the top, we can actually see that it is processing. That was 42 uh, earlier. So so it is it is running, but I'm getting a bunch of warnings. So I'm ignoring them. <laughs> it's like when your car makes a funny noise and you just turn the radio up. Um, <laughs> So anyway, hopefully we'll see these change by by uh, during the stream. Anyway, what I'm doing today is I would like to improve the the uh, the course API that I've created, um, and of course we're transitioning between two. We're transitioning from an old Symphony bundle, or it's not an old; it's a fairly new one. But I'm transitioning from a Symphony bundle to another bundle about JSON API schema. Uh, so before I was using a bundle that was that was uh, doing it very well. It was doing it very well. It's just it doesn't offer me the level of flexibility that I want to want to use. Uh, now what we're doing is we're using um, this bundle here, which is the uh, Nemorex uh, JSON API, and uh, I have the documentation up here. Um, and what I would like to do today is work through the relationships. Um, so the relationships here. So this is this is uh, an output, a typical output in JSON API schema format. Um, or I should just say JSON API format. Um, and here we're we're seeing that there's um, you know the uh, first name, last name, based on the type of 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 people, person, and we have relationships to their you know their comments. So that's what we want to deal with today um, in the sense of our course. So before I get into it, I should explain if I go into, say, the, um, uh, where did I put it all? Where did I put it all? So we've changed from the, the, the we've, we've changed from course V1 to course V2. Uh, course V1 is doing the old way using the old, um, uh, the old, style of doing it using uh, the old, the other package course v2 however is using the new package so they're running side by side at the moment um so here for instance what we're doing is is there's only two methods that i've created so far a show and a um an index index is going to get all of them show is going to get um one of them based on the id that's supplied um and we've got some nice little helper methods in here uh, so, for instance, we got the find all off of the manager that I've passed in through the abstract course controller, uh, and then here we have a find or throw exception, um, nice little helper jobbies, and then the magic happens at the JSON uh, encoder. So this is where we're encoding, we're getting a JSON uh, response from the course that we're passing in, and we're doing the same thing with courses. It's intelligent enough to work out that. Um, uh, uh, that's going to be an array of courses, and that's just a single single course, which is great. Which means that I only have to run one thing for for each, and then it's up to the encoder to then decipher whether or not uh, this is paginated um, or not. Basically, I want to keep the controllers nice and light. Uh, not, you know, that they're, they're doing quite a lot of stuff, but there's only two lines of code. Everything else is sort of like um, uh, put away in in uh, in in the methods that they call. So if I go through the JSON encoder, for instance, if we open that up, now this is going to go through the abstract um, course. Um, so we've got the course manager here, which is essentially the manager that handles the doctrine ent entities uh, specifically for the course. This is the find or throw exception. So using manager find by ID, getting the course, and then if, if it's not an instance of a course, then we throw this exception. You know, all good things. Um, and then uh, I guess what I could do is, yeah, this, so this JSON encoder um, is the course JSON encoder. This is where the magic happens with encoding the actual uh, response. So here we have, this is the get JSON response uh, running off of a process method. We'll talk about that in just a second, um, which is here, by the way. Um, <laughs> and then... Yes, it's a returning this 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 uh, uh, the uh, the processor. Um, it's it, essentially it's um, a, a JSON string that gets returned based off of this. You create sort of an array based on these 
setter methods. So set public fields and then you run process at the end that will return you your JSON output. So now this is abstract out, I should say, from the JSON um, from here. This essentially is doing what this magic is doing up, up, up like so. Um, but we want we want to we want to control the relationships and, and, and other certain things here. OK, this here is the uh, actually. No, sorry, this isn't doing that. Sorry, that's the encoder. That's something completely different. <clears throat> um, this is the course schema. There we go. Course schema. The course schema. This is what I should should have been showing you. This is the schema behind the API response. So we have the attributes and what they are, um, and then we'll have the relationships. That's what we're going to be focusing on today. Uh, and then essentially, what happens is, um, if I can find that file again, wherever it's gone. Let's get rid of that a minute. Let's just tidy up the workspace a mo. Yeah. So once you've set the schema, you can then define, you can say what public fields that you actually want to have to show. And then here you do the, the, the processing based on, on that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, let's see if um, I did have this running off of Postman. So let me just see if this, uh, I can get this to run. Bear with me a second whilst I get this up. It, it's, you know, it's, it's always good to have that as a, a means of testing. So just give me a second whilst I sort my workspaces out. It's thinking about it, it's thinking about it. Okay, let's send that up. Okay, so this one here, this is the old style, right? This is the, well, it's not an old, I shouldn't say that the styles are going to be the same, but this is running off of the old API. Um, so this is the V1 API. So can you see, it? this is this is the relationships that come back from the course. This is getting all the courses and the pagination, uh, sure. And then this one here, uh, I don't know why, let's save that. don't know why that's not saved. Uh, and then this one should be getting the new style running for version two. If I've done this correctly, let me just see. I don't want to. <clears throat> Hopefully. Hey, there we go. So let me bring that back up. So yeah, this is the new style. So this is running for V2 courses. Okay, so this is the new style. This is only getting one course. Uh, but notice there isn't any link, uh, any relationships, so that's what we're going to be playing with uh, today. Wow, <clears throat> I have um, a sore throat. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so excuse me. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be dealing with today. Now, notice if I went to the other one here, um, the relationships we have: image, tutorials supplier and author um, so yeah so that's kind of what we want to supply I mean this one here that the, the ones above they don't have uh, tutorials because I haven't added them yet um, but this one down here does so you can see the list of tutorials and it's the tutorials is just like the ID of the tutorial at the bottom here I think there's a an included section um, yeah, so included videos and stuff. Um, and it's this, it's kind of like this package allows me to have more granular control over those things. And also, um, this because I can manipulate the, the code um, and on a granular level, I can I can manipulate the, res the response based on the logged in user as well. So if they're an admin user, then they'll get more fields than, the, than, uh, than a user that isn't. <clears throat> Ah, uh, right. <laughs> so, okay, what we're going to do here on V2 is um, we're going to run through, uh, I think, the, the, uh, the show based on the, the ID. Um, and it's going to do the JSON response based on the JSON encode, which is here. 
Um, and then I want to put in uh, relationships. So we need to go into the course schema and put them in, get relationships. So let's have a look at the documentation. So here's the get relationships. Um, and essentially what you can do is you can, you can, uh, define the relate different relationships, uh, between each one. Um, so for instance, you can, you can say which kind of link you want. So if it's related link, um, and I guess these would be related, right? Um, so let's, uh, let's see if we can get that through. So. We're going to do, I'm going to start with uh, the image. So if we look back onto this one here, we should see that we have, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Just grab that and put it up to the top here. Uh, we should see that, yeah, we have an image here. All right. So we're going to do image. And that is, um, so image, it is, Therefore, a nested array. Uh, so we do image is an array. And then it's um, a relationship linked to self. No, that's not the case, but it is rela related. So we'd, so that seems like a good idea. Now, this is probably going to blow up. So let me just... Um, comments. Let me just see. This is going to be a little bit of trial and error because I haven't actually done relationships with this bundle yet. I'm, so this is the first time I'm doing it. So it may fall flat on its face. <laughs> uh, come on. All right. Yeah. So we've got... Um, we don't have the relationships that didn't come through. That's um, that's weird. Get relationships. Am I missing something completely here? Do I need to? I wonder if I need to define them in the encoder. Can we do set um, admin fields? This is kind of like my little wrapper. Um, so I can set whether you're admin or not. And if you are admin, you can set specific fields for the admin to see. Um, hmm. So that didn't, that didn't work. <laughs> we don't have a relations, relationship sync thing here. I'm wondering if it's because the image um, hasn't got its own schema. I'm wondering if that's the case. Let's scroll up and just compare. So, encode author, end of file. I mean, that, yeah, that's fine. Let's delve in a little bit deeper into the documentation. So, schemas. A schema is a class that implements schema interface, yada, yada, yada. Um, okay, so we have the author and then we have the comment. Yeah, I'm thinking that we need to have a schema specifically for the image. Um, uh, with included uh, paths, with set fields, encode, uh, with links. Do we have anything about uh, links here? Yes, we do. Hello, good morning, Tyranid. Good morning. Uh, no, that's not really helpful, is it? Not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. I think I need to put in a schema specifically for the image. Author schema. The relationship data is author get get comments. A schema typically defines all of these things. Show ident show identifiers in relationships how to show, okay. I guess one thing we could do is just create, we could create the image schema itself, right? 
um, because I would like to have an API specifically for the images, of course, um, not just the images that are related to the courses. Uh, so that might be that might be a good start. So where we've got the course schema here, I'm going to grab, oops, another one here. We're going to call this image schema. And the type is image. The um, that's fine. Okay, so let's have a look at the image. Uh, what does the image have? We can check a take a look at the entity itself. Uh, so the entity has a file name and um, the traits, the timestamp, and the UUID. So in here. This would be file name. Get file name. Um, I think we'll keep it like that for the minute. We'll return an, an array here. And then what we'll do in the course schema, whoops, course schema. That's fine. It's running off of image. Um, in the JSON encoder for the course, I think we need to put in image class goes to image. Um, it's the it's a schema image schema image schema um, class because this is linking them up. So I'm hoping that this will be intelligent enough to know that there is a link between the two. I'm hoping, I think. I think that's how it works. I don't know, to be honest. This is the first time I'm playing with this stuff, so I'm kind of, you know, working in the dark here. <laughs> playing around with it. The documentation um, is fine. It's my, my, my level of understanding um, is, needs to slowly improve, obviously. Come on, request. Why is it taking so long? Why is it taking so long? No, so we still don't have, we have, um, no, we still don't have links for the relationship. Hmm. get relationships post self am I missing something am I screwing something up majorly here do I need to no I don't need to do that I'm just wondering if because I've got the public fields in here I need to perhaps put in um, in sorry not in there in the encoder. I'm wondering if I need to put in course uh, image here, set public fields. Um, what happens is the process here gets the um, gets the uh, the field set with field set. Okay, so this is this is running off of the encoder based on the schemas that you passed in. Um, and the get field set gets the public fields and then merges them together. So I'm, I'm wondering if because it's not in that, that might be an issue. So I'm wondering if, 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 not that one. Uh, here, sorry, here, here. I'm wondering if I need to have image and then have file name, maybe? Let's try it. I'm basically now throwing code into the wind and seeing where it flies. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do it, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. No, it 
<laughs> no, that didn't that didn't come off. So what's interesting is that I'm not actually seeing an error. Let's just see if this actually <laughs> yeah, throwing code at the wall and seeing if it sticks. Sometimes when you throw code at the wall, it'll either stick. Sometimes it'll make a hole in the wall. <laughs> or sometimes it'll just catch fire. Uh, <laughs> um, I want to just change these attributes. I, I want to see if I can actually get this to... Um, I'm, I'm doubting myself as, this, as to, is this actually working? So we're going to do test, uh, we're going to do title, um, we're going to do title one. Uh, title test, right? Title underscore test. And we go to the course schema here and we change this to title underscore test. Um, now, does this actually change in the response? This will be my little control test to make sure that this is actually working and we're not, there's no caching going on, there's nothing crazy that I've totally forgotten about. No, yeah, it does work. So we've got title underscore test there, you know? So so I am <laughs> I'm working on the right file. That's always good to know. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so what's going on here then? What's going on here? Um Why can't I get any of my relationships to work? Posts, site posts. Maybe I need to just say it's relationship data. So this would be in here, in, not in there, in here. So image, self relationship uh, related links. There's also relationship um, self meta, but data is um, resource, I believe, get image. Resource is the entity that we pass through. Uh, let me just make sure that, that that is the case on course. There should be a get image. Uh, image, 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 image. Where are you, image? <laughs> get image. There we go. Yeah, so it is there. Okay. Um, that needs to be returned as iterable. Let me just make sure that that's happening. Yes, it's fine. Ah, right, let's try again. Let's try again. Come on. How's my folding going? Let me have a look at that. Oh, oh, we got errors now. No schema found for resource proxies. Ah, no, I had this issue before. I had this issue before. Um, and this is because obviously with Doctrine, um, it, uh, it, do, it, it creates proxies, proxy classes. Um, so in the grand scheme of, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm not knowledgeable enough to know the internal workings of Doctrine. Um, but um, you're not always working just on the entity classes. You're also working on the proxies, proxy classes. So when you're trying to do things like this, it does get a little bit uh, hairy. So I was doing this. This happened to before on the previous bundle. So the way I fixed that is in the... I mean, it wasn't set up like this. But um, where we're, we're calling um, image class, we also need to call the actual... Um, uh, the actual proxy class. I think that's how I solved it. Um, and that is this. Uh, and I probably need to put that behind as well. Running off of root. Let's see. And whilst that's happening, I'm going to check out my folding. So we're at, what, 31% on this one? This is, by the way, this is the podcast website uh, uh, server. And then this here is uh, another box that I've got, which is going through. I'm going to have to have a look at some point what, what these warnings. Oh, there we are. We've just seen it go in. 47%. Uh, awesome. So these are two VPSs. 
Okay, still got an error here. Um, image at path. No schema found for resource proxies image at path image. Um, okay, maybe it is that then. Hmm. Bit of trial and error going on here. Which is kind of like the story of my life, to be honest. Trial and error. If... <laughs> Oh, okay, all right, so it worked. However, we still don't have any damn relationships. <laughs> what? Oh, hello, Murphy. You coming in to say hello? Good boy, off you go. Gosh, sorry about that. Break the old, uh, the whole... The whole uh, office as I walk in. Okay. Right. Where on earth is these relationships going? What's happening? Um, do I have... I don't even have an image here. On attributes. Core schema. Return. Get relationships. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Posts, relationship data, that's essentially what I've done with, uh, so this would be course and then that would be image. Uh, relationship links is, so this is like um, pagination. Okay, show meta in relationships. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I just want to show the relationships, please. That would be nice. I'm obviously doing something fundamentally wrong here. Um, so the or schema, let's start from, let's go back to the start, shall we? Let's, uh, let's just put those in, alright? So, relationship links to self is false, and then true for links related. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost like it's not even reading this, um... This uh, the, the the actual get relationships call. No, it's not. It's it's so bizarre. Huh. Hmm. got nothing to do with the attributes and hmm set included uh, we could do set included paths right so the included paths would be course is that an array? I think it is. So what's that? An array, yeah. Of included paths. I think this is course dot image. I think. Let me have a look at that. Uh, schemas, links, parsing API parameters, extending the encoder, upgrading notes. Schemas included section. There we go. Information of what relationship should uh, information what information what relationship should be pl should be placed blah, blah 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 in information what relationship should be placed to included section for each resource type independently. Let's just click on the link. Oh, this is going, okay, this, so this is the JSON API uh, documentation. Okay, I gotcha. This is the included stuff here. All right, so um, does this mean then? Ugh. <laughs> what does this mean? I don't know. I've got no idea what this is all about. Included. 
No. Clue. There's only one which is there. Uh, okay, pages which is nine. Here we go. Test. No, that's the same thing, isn't it? Darn it. Let's go home. Included. Relationships information that should be included. Oh, that's the what I've just seen, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I've just seen. Okay, let's see. Is there, could there be anything in here about included stuff? Included. No, I don't want to bookmark it. Included. Included many resources could be found in the specification. Links could be added to various documentation, top level relationships, included resources, many samples can be found. Um, let's try, that's going to go off to the JSON API thing as well. Nope. Um, I don't want to extend it. <laughs> let's just throw things at it, shall we? So included paths, I'm going to assume that that is the, the how, how it works. And we'll run it and see it and who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I might have this actually running anyway against another service. I think if I remember rightly, no, that didn't go through. Uh, we have it running off of the user service, I believe. So I might be able to use that as a as an example piece. I'm struggling today. Okay, yes, yeah, so we've got get relationships, profile, relationships, data, get profile. That's essentially what I've done with the, uh, with um, uh, what I'm doing with the, with, the, with the course and then the image here. So scroll up, scroll up. Uh, so we haven't played anything in there. That's fine. Then we have the user like so. That looks okay. Um, okay, let's go to... Let's see, it would be in, I'm hunting around, profile schema, that's where we were just uh, at, right? We have the user schema, and we also need to have, there should also be somewhere, um, the JSON um, thing, the JSON thing, you know what I'm talking about. Encoder, here we go, user JSON encoder. There we go, okay. So that's the proxies. Okay, I should have looked at this class before. <laughs> okay, so that's admin field. So setting the user as active, passing in the profile, and then set included paths is just profile. So in here, there's no links. There's no relationships, I don't think. User schema, there is relationships here. Okay, so the difference here is that we've put just put this in as profile. So maybe on the other one, and this is just complete trial and error. Um, it would be so nice if there was some response back, sort of, sort of saying that things couldn't happen in in perhaps a log. That would be good. Uh, so we're going to try. This would be included paths of image, wouldn't it? Come on, come on. Ugh. Why? <laughs> Why? Um, all right. I'm, I'm wondering if it's something to do with the data now. Let's move up. I'm wondering if it's something to do specifically with this course perhaps it just doesn't have an image you know um, hmm let me see uh, course API uh, v2 get get all and v2 let's see if we can do that So, this is all of them now. None of them appear to have any images, any relationships to do with any images. Hmm. 
No. Oh, man. That's so... So annoying. Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> this isn't working. Um... Like I... I expected. <laughs> ah. Well, there's also tutorials as well. There's there's also there's there's an awful lot of other things, um, like the author of the course. Gosh, this is frustrating. The problem here is that there isn't anything in the in in that's coming back as a response to say you know, something's wrong. Um, it's just not showing. It's just not showing. Uh, process, let's go through, step through this. Uh, with links, get links. Uh, with included paths, um, get included paths. So that, yeah. And then, uh, with links. So, get paginated links, link interface. Oh, hang on. Let me compare this to the user API. I just want to make sure that I haven't actually changed it. These files essentially should be the same. I think for the most part they are. Let me just try it again. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So it calls get links, right? It calls get links, and then it goes through and gets the paginated links if if uh, if there's more than one, right? So here we should see, and we're not seeing paginated links at the top, um, based on the array of data. With links, get links. With relationship related links, related ship self link. So it's the links that is the it's the links that deal with the relationships, I believe. With links, get links. Links is self relationship. May I reckon it's overriding the links. That's what I think's happening. I think the links are being overridden. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's, that's the issue here. We're then doing an array merge. If count data, so that goes in here, get, uh, data, data is that. Um, this get links. With links, maybe a, ah, hang on a minute. Am I missing something here? Am I missing something magic here? Have I just missed that out? Oh wow! <laughs> okay, so so that works. So I've passed in the data and it's it's um it's now getting me some paginated stuff back. The links themselves are wrong, but the the actual mechanism of doing it is now is now running, which is great. 
Um, I'm still not seeing any image though. Which is a shame. Or any um, sort of included paths. Ha. Huh. Um. Does it, does it, have I now screwed this up completely? Let's just, let's just clear some, uh, uh, clear, clear other, close other tabs. Uh, let's cancel. There we go. Um, so it was that one, wasn't it? Let's, let's run that. Yeah, get links must be in a type of an array, but an object is given. Okay, yes, this is because this here is either an array or an object. Um, gotcha. So, get links. So if the count is greater than zero, what I could do, I suppose, at this point here is check the data type between that. Or what I could do, I guess, is I could, yeah, I could, I, that's probably a good idea. So if we do, If we do if if instance no that's not gonna work if is object no let's do if is array How would I do that? So that would be link. Link data is equal to an array, right? And then if uh, this isn't an array, so if that's false, link data is that, um, else it's the same. So link data is. Come on, Hello, P. Coders. Come on, P. I should know this. Come on, man. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. Hello, Fizzy Stables. That is an awesome name. Hello. Thank you for following. Do appreciate that. Uh, I can't put my hands up very high because if I do, I hit that. Do 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 do. This is uh, my folding at home team for how to code well. Um, our folding at home team. Not mine. Our folding at home team. Uh, if you're folding, uh, do check check out that team number. Um, we have at the moment uh, two VPSs running. I've also got my Mac Mini behind me, and this actual machine that I'm streaming on. We're all doing folding, 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 folding. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you, Fuzzy Stables, Fizzy Stables, not Fuzzy Stables, Fizzy Stables. It's um, fuzzy stables, but with a bit more fizz. <laughs> Thank you for following. I do appreciate that. I hope you're having a good day. So, right, Mr. Fisher, what am I trying to achieve here? <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Let me see if we can get to, I mean... Can we? No, gateway timed out. <laughs> Let's try it again. No, nope, bad gateway. Oh well. <laughs> we'll try it again throughout this this stream, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, so, come on. So I need to check whether that is uh, uh, an array. If it's not an array, I need to set it as, as a blank array. Um... <laughs> Yada yada yada. The reason why I'm not casting the object to an array, of course, or just having creating a, a single 
array node, you know, an array element, um, if there's just one object, so it would be like an array with one thing, is because um, I need to distinguish between whether or not um, it was supposed to be paginated <laughs> and whether it wasn't supposed to be paginated. So there needs to be, there does need to be um, a, a difference. Um, and the, and yeah, so, okay. So link data is uh, default to an array here. And uh, if this is false, then that's gonna be used. If not, then then the other one. So we could probably turn this into a ternary, tenary, ternary. Um, link data is equal to, hey, Murphy's just jumped in. He doesn't do things subtly, you know. He 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 just basically jumps through the door <laughs> when the door is shut, closed with the handle sh handle turned. <laughs> You're right, Murphy, mate. You coming in? Do you guys want to see Murphy? Hello. Hello. Getting heavy, mate. <laughs> Murphy says hello. <laughs> Murphy is the uh, Murphy Murphy the menace. Oh, he's sitting nicely now. Ah. <laughs> uh. Murphy is um, my English Springer Spaniel. He's he's a puppy. Hello. Oh, and he's sitting lovely, sitting nicely. Oh, he's curled up by my feet. <laughs> any excuse not to do any code, right? <laughs> okay, link data. We're gonna call this um, do 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 link data. So false or no is array. Is data. Do you want to go in? Go back now. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, is array data, and then this would be just blank like that, right? There we go. Single line fun. Um, and then what I'll do here is put that into there. I think that's probably okay. I think. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? There's been so much um, broken things on today's stream, but uh, you know, what, you know, another thing that's broken, that's fine. <laughs> Yay! Okay, we got that back. Um, that's great. And then if we go over to uh, this one here and we hit send, hopefully we still have these links. <laughs> Yay, we do. We do, we do, we do. Excellent. Mm. Right, I think I'm going to grab a cup of tea, because my tea is cold, um, and then we'll we'll see if we can hammer through where the where the where on earth has the image stuff gone in here. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to grab a cup of tea. All right, I'm going to grab a cup of tea. I'll be back in a few minutes. Bear with me a second.
I'm back. I'm back. Oh, right. What were we doing? We were we were tackling the the relationships. That's what we were doing. <laughs> and I don't know why this isn't working. There isn't anything that is I, I was trying to think down there of all the things that could be wrong. Relationship data. The fact that this isn't actually failing suggests that it is working and I'm my wrapper code is preventing it from happening. <laughs> somehow. Somehow. It's, it's this course uh, thing here. Yeah. There's nothing else I can do. It's just set include fields, set admin fields. No. Hmm. Let me compare this again with the other project. Uh, da, 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 da. Wherever that's gone. Here we go. Because I'm sure I've got this actually running, the profile bit running off of this. User schema, we've got the profile. We don't have a profile in the attributes. That's fine. I mean, that's essentially what we got. And then in the, in the encoder, we have um, set included paths as profile. And then we have profile here with the uh, various bits and pieces profile. Um, setting the, the admin fields, setting the included paths to profile. This goes off to the profile schema. So let's grab the profile schema for a second. And yeah, it's very similar to what we have with the course. So I can't, I cannot think of what is image, image, you know, it's all spelt right. Image schema. <gasps> no, I've, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Could that be it? Could that be it? Could that be it? Oh, wow. If this is it, it was the, if this is it, come on. No. <laughs> oh, no. I thought that would be it. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. I think the wall has fallen down. I think the... <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, oh, that, that wasn't it. That wasn't, that wasn't the thing. That's, that's annoying. Uh, what I saw was that this was coarse, and that should have been image. Um, ah, dear. Deary me. No, I have I have zero idea how this is this this thing works now. <laughs> ah, let's just refresh that. No, still bad gateway. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so there's nothing out of the ordinary there. That's what I've done. Alright, let's go back to the wiki. 
Ah, they've got a sample app. Let's have a look at that. They've got a sample app. All right, so um, now obviously they don't use Symphony and they're not going to use Doctrine, so um, it, it's going to be different, right? It's going to be different, but we have the auth and we got the post. So if we go to, let's see, post. Um, so we have uh, comments. It's an array of comments. And then that's the body for the, for the sorry, that's the author. So we inject these in. So in my world, that would be an array of Im that would be that would be an image. Yeah. All right. So let's go back up to here. Let's go to So that was models. So let's have a look at schemas. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, post schema. So get type posts, get attributes, get relationships. So we have the author, post author. Um, and then this one would be comments. So this is more like my image because there's one image per course. So it's like the course thumbnail. Um, okay, so false and false. What have I got mine set to? Let's set that to false. Do they have anything in here about included stuff? That would be great. So I'm guessing it would be an application in encode samples. All right. So here we're creating comments and authors and various other things uh, with encoded options with included paths. Okay. With included paths. Okay. So this is going back. So this would be this is going back, isn't it? So this is going against the post. So this would be this would be course image course tutorials that's how that would work wouldn't it so then if we so if we go up to here this would be course dot image okay come on No. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. It's not obvious. Uh, with encoding option preprint, I don't think I need that. Okay, get a sparse field of set of filters. In paths to be included. No post comment will not be shown, but posts will. Okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is site. Okay, oh right, okay, okay. So it's not actually putting in the post. Aha. Okay, so I've got you. So um, instance. So site is the root level, and then you've got post, and then post you've got an author, and you've got. Uh, so yeah, sorry, that would be that would definitely be um, image rather than course image because it already knows where the top level is. Um, and we're put, passing in all the schemas. Let's just try something else, shall we? Because, I mean, there's there's also, of course, the tutorials. So let's see if we can get the tutorials in. Um, so 
so it's going to be tutorial schema type of tutorial type of tutorial um, and the tutorial will have the uh, I think it's name let's have a look at that tutorial no title title and slug let's just grab those You know, I've got a feeling that once I crack this, it's just going to be so blatantly obvious, right? And once I crack it, it's just going to be stream... I'm going to code very streamlined. I think Murphy's barking at the neighbor. Gosh. Title, um, and then what was it? Slug. And that's tutorial schema. Okay, so course schema also has tutorials, um, and we can do this in the JSON, wherever it's gone. Not that one, not that one. I can't remember what it's called. Course JSON encoder. There we go. So this is tutorials. So that would be tutorial running off of tutorial schema. All right. Come on. Mm. This is a problem when you're doing things trial and error, and you're having to wait for a request to 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 deal with uh, to deal with it. Ugh. It's uh, it did take a long time to think about it, but no, nothing nothing obvious going on there. So include it's like it's not even adhering to the included paths. Let's just see. All right, let's, so with included paths, this included paths. When we run set included paths, we are doing this include paths. Yeah, so. so there's, not, there's nothing There's nothing going wrong there. That's set, set with included paths, with fields, with links, encode data. <laughs> what could be possibly wrong here? Comment schema. Post comments. So this would be my tutorials, right? So this would be... Um, would it be tutorial? That's, hang on, no, 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 no. Have we got an example with relationships, with fields? Oh wait, hang on, with fields, with fields, scroll down here, with fields, attributes and relationships that should be shown, attributes and relationships, and relationships, attributes and relationships. It didn't say that in the documentation, did it? <laughs> or not that I've seen. Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, so the with, with fields needs to have, from what I can tell, set public fields. It's something to do with this, I think. I think. Sites, posts, people. Okay. So posts has the author. Okay, so if I wrap my head around this, course would have the image. Is that correct? Because see, you've got posts in here and then you've got posts. 
So in my in my case, this would be course, and that would be image, and then image would have the file name. <laughs> uh, this is weird. Okay, let's run this and just see. <laughs> Come on. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Image. How 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 are you doing? <laughs> it's only taken what, like an hour and sixteen minutes to, to see you? <laughs> oh look! Look, Mr. In included image as well. <laughs> oh gosh. <sighs> So there we go. I've built, I've rebuilt the wall. <laughs> I'm now hanging nice little picture frames on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the problem there was that the, uh, the, the fields weren't married up. Okay. So I needed to put in, say I wanted the image and I wanted to say the particular fields of the image that I want. So in theory, in theory, we should do the same thing for the tutorials. Uh, so we need to have. Now I don't. I'm, I'm, I might get myself confused with the pluralization of this. Is it tutorial or tutorials? I'm assuming it's tutorials. Uh, let's see. They've got an example here of of posts, don't they? So we've got post sites has posts. Posts has an author. So this would be. Uh, course would have tutorials right tutorials and a tutorial tutorial so I can spell it is that right tutorials or do I need to do no posts so that would be tutorials s uh, would have a title okay let's see if that works No, oh, what? <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Uh, could it be that there is... Um, that I do need to have both the proxy and the actual... Um, again, I'm going back to my... Let's just throw code at the wall. Even though I've just built the wall up and it's nice and shiny um, and new. I've just re, you know repointed the wall. I got the builders in to repoint the wall. I'm now going to throw another boulder at it and see if it sticks. Uh, tutorial schema courses tutorials image tutorials set included path is tutorials. That's the same as before. Send. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, nope, it's just image. It's just image. Just image. Hello, buddy. All right. Murphy's just come in the room. Was that all you wanted to do? You just wanted to walk around me and then go back outside? Fine. Um... Right, tutorial schema, tutorial, title, and slug. There's no relationships, it's fine. I mean, you could, essentially, you could, you can then nest this, um, which I don't want to do. So why is the, why, why, why? Ah, get relationships. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so I probably need to do this, don't I? In here. Image. So this would be tutorials, I think. Tutorials. Uh, and this would be get tutorials. Come on, 
come on, come on, come on. Yay, we got tutorials. We've got tutorials. <laughs> Yay, we got tutorials. Super happy with that. Uh, and then we should have down here the included bits and pieces, so the actual titles and the slugs. So this is the actual schema themselves. Up in here, we'll we'll have the references to them. So that's uh, that's running off of what um, a single course. Let's see if I can get it running off of all of them. <laughs> yeah. So I was uh, it, it was the. So what what I think happens, and I think this is actually a, you know a very clever way of doing it. Let's just go down and see that we have tutorial. That's empty. What's this? Uh, I may not have put in all the tutorials yet. Yeah. So there's tutorials for this one. Docker for beginners. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what's happening, which I think is very clever, very very clever. Um, uh, and I know it's been quite painful getting this to work, but I actually quite like the way it is because you end up with these like little switches that you can turn on and off um, and I have complete granular control over what's shown, uh, how it's shown, how it's called, which is great, which is what I really, really want. Um, uh, whereas the other bundle that I was using, it was like, show us what the entity is and we'll we'll create something for it without giving you the the potential power to go in and tinker. It was all done very sort of in a black box type thing. This, you're actually passing down things, um, you know, even if you've got the, that set to public field, you can just hide it if you want um, by removing that. Um, and so this this is my little wrapper around the uh, around the processor. One thing I just want to see is do I need to have these classes? I'm going to remove the tutorial here and I'm going to remove the the image. Um, I think I might just be able to run it against the um, the proxies. Let's hit save and then let's run that again. Whoops, going too far. Send send send. Uh, and whilst that happens, I'm going to go over to folding at home and refresh the page. Still a bad gateway. Oh, loading team info. Hello. What it, what's going to happen? Bad gateway or team information. <laughs> it's going to time out. <laughs> it's going to time out. Uh, let me just see. Okay, we got our undefined index uh, entity tutorial. Uh huh. Um, it's still loading. It's still loading. Okay, so I do need to have both the proxies and the entities in. Okay. Send. Still loading. Still loading. Sweet. Nice. Come gateway timeout. <laughs> gateway timeout. Let's see what the uh, VPSs are doing. Ooh. Um, okay. So thirty-six percent. That's gone quite far. That's gone quite far. Have we? Does this mean that we've actually cleared it? Uh, what's the date today? It is the 17th. So on the 17th, we started today. Oh, so we finished. We finished. A work unit today. This is off of the podcast website. Yes, it has. Nice. At zero six thirteen. And it's picked up another one. This this the podcast site, um how to code well .fm is really chucking through them. And this one's crunching at fifty one. Nice. Yeah. Cool, I'm 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 pleased. 
but I'm happy with that. My um, my server behind, my the sorry the Mac Mini behind. Um, let's see if I can get into it. This is having a bit of a hard time. So this one here has been crunching through the same one for a long time. And the ETA is 5.72 days. So almost six days and it's running at full pelt. Um, the, the thing is that the project number is if I try and look at the project number 13831, um, I can't find any information about it. Um, so if I was to go, for instance, to folding at home um, project uh, 13831, load the projects, look for 13, uh, 8, 3, 1, open that up, so it just says project unspecified, <laughs> so I don't really know what it's doing, <laughs> and I don't know what it's doing for six days, <laughs> um, so yeah. However, the ones that I was doing yesterday on the on the on the this server here um, on the on the podcast site, we were chucking through some um, some ones to do with COVID, which was super cool. Let me see if I can get a project number of what it's doing at the moment. Log started at yeah, fine. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Where would it be? It would be one of these. Work units, core, frame. Prop area, 14, 14 uh, 402. So copy that. I mean, yesterday it was doing 13832, which uh, was COVID. That's what it was doing. So the howtocoworld.fm website was working through COVID proteins for folding at home. Um, now it's doing uh, 14 402. It is doing um, an unspecified project. Um, it stimulates. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. M m m all right, I will. My myosins uh, found in the human body, um, responsible for most of the force generated by the body from concentrated from the concentration of muscles to the movement of materials around the cell. I mean, this goes straight above my head. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna f f feel incredibly stupid, <laughs> go and check out and see what the re researchers are doing um, against these. But I'm happy that I could, I can, I can spare some CPU cycles to to help. And as I said yesterday, we were cranking through COVID stuff. Um, which I am super happy with. If anybody wants to join, by the way, um, I have a Docker image that you can use, which is um, here. Uh, I'll put that into the GitHub, into the into the GitHub, into the into there, uh, into the comments. Um, and there's also uh, a Docker image behind this as well that I've pushed up to the Docker Hub um, that you can run, uh, set your configuration. Um, and then uh, and then get it to run and off it goes uh, yeah and the team number is there if you want to if you want to join the team that's great if you don't want to join the team fair enough just you know if you can fold please do and of course there is a um, their, their own folding at home uh, website which I really probably should put into the chat here folding uh, folding at home um, this is the website to go to, all right? So if you're watching this for the first time and you're like, oh, I want to do this, uh, check this out, all right? So that's the link to go to. I'll put When this is on YouTube, I'll put the links in the description below. Um, so they have, obviously it's detected that I'm off, off, on a Mac here, so it's running, it's offering me a Mac installation. 
um, and uh, but if you're using Windows or Linux, then it will it will it will uh, give you those as well. Um, so it's kind of a pl platform you can run it on. Basically, what I'm trying to say, get it out of my get the words out, is you can run it on multiple platforms, not just Mac, uh, and you and and you don't need Docker. Um, I've only got it running on Docker because I own a couple of VPSs um, that are crunching through currently um, uh, these uh, these work units, which is great. And I, I should say that I am also looking at getting some Raspberry Pis in this office. I'm thinking of perhaps getting a de um if I go to here, getting a shelf with some Raspberry Pi boxes behind and getting them working away. That would be super cool and having a sort of a cluster. So I can do this and 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 show you the cluster. My cluster's this big. <laughs> Let's go back to that. <laughs> uh that was a good little segue, wasn't it, to uh to folding at home. <laughs> Let's see again. Are we is there anything there? No, it's bad gateway. So this will this will uh show the um the leaderboard of 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 our team. And essentially what happens is that uh, based on the amount of work units that you can do, um, you know, and the complexities of those work units, uh, you go up in the leaderboard. So there's a bit of friendly competition going on, you know, but, but at the end of the day, it's the course that matters, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been reading about that, Tyranid. Yeah, they're not always supported by, uh, not, not all projects support them. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking at w what projects um, I could use. Thank you for sending me um, that information about Boink because that's uh, that's really good. Last night I was watching some YouTube videos about um, setting those things up, and basically I just ended up geeking out, going, "Oh my god, look at that! I can make my own little server farm." <laughs> and um, I don't think the power consumption is that massive. Uh, so, so that's, um, that's okay. And I'm thinking of maybe getting a couple of them working on different projects, but we'll see. You know, this is pipe dreams. This is pipe dreams, so. Ah, right. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with how today's gone, uh, actually. It was, I was struggling in the middle of this, trying to get this to all work, but we've, we've got there. We've got there, you know? We've got there. Sometimes it's the destination where you want to go, uh, and you just have to suck it up through the journey. You, you know. Um, <laughs> so for those watching and still watching, that I do, I do really appreciate. Um, I really appreciate. So we have our relationships. We have the image, and we have the tutorials. Uh, yeah. So one thing um, I want to talk about is that there, there is. There might be a, a change to the stream. I'm talking about this uh, on Discord um, with the pro users. Uh, I will be making this more known on, you know, with the other users on Discord. Uh, to do with actually doing, like, uh, tutorials um, and lessons. Um, I, it's still a bit up in the air at the moment. I need to sort of um, nail it down a little bit. Uh, but essentially... The thing is, with with the climate at the moment, with everybody sort of keeping away from everyone, essentially, uh, this is going to this is going to impact people who usually go to code meetups, who go to um, conferences, who go to code schools and boot camps to learn to code. So I'm trying to think of ways that we can, as how to code well, as a way of supporting people who who were on the coding journey, who were going to these evening classes, who can no longer do that. Uh, so one idea is to potentially do some streaming around, um, uh, like a more of a formal training stream. So this is these streams have primarily been me building things rather than teaching things. So, you know, I didn't I didn't know how this was gonna work. Um, hey Slayer Darth. I'm good, thank you. I'm I'm good. I am sorry. <laughs> I am. Uh, I need to crack on and do some work um, at the uh, in about uh, 
five ten minutes I think because um, I need my breakfast before then before I actually do some work <laughs> aren't we all buddy aren't we all aren't we all so what I what I was saying was um, and just bear with me just two ticks because I just need to grab Murphy just bear with me a second Sorry about that. I just saw in the corner of my eye what he was getting up to. <laughs> um, so yes, as we were saying, as I was saying, there's going to be a lot of people at the moment who 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 were who are relying on going to evening classes and code uh, meetups uh, to learn to code. A lot of people who who are on the start of their journey and they were relying on going to to uh, the, these things and they can no, no longer do it. So I'm thinking of ways that how to code well can can help people who are starting to learn to code in a in a in a sort of an online kind of way. Um, so um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure how that's gonna the shape of that is gonna be at the moment, but um, whether that's gonna be extra streams or a stream in the evening or. Um, uh, and doing some formal training based on like uh, beginner level type stuff so it'll be quite different to um, to these streams again like I said it will be less building and more teaching um, and I'm thinking of going really sort of beginner friendly um, and I'm thinking of maybe calling it like a like the how to code well code school type thing I don't know I mean I'm interested to hear what people think. I'm interested to hear it, what their suggestions are. Um, I also want this to be community-led as well. Um, <laughs> just going through the chat. Uh, um, yes, it's important to synchronize your day with between de dev environments. In fact, I have a completely different machine for work. <laughs> that's how how synchronized I am <laughs> as in it's on a different it's a completely different machine um, yeah yeah there's so so I know a lot of people who've done a lot of boot camps and stuff and and they've gone quite far and you know but the, the, the boot camps were evening classes um, and like code schools in the evenings and like, uh, you know, it's, um, and unfortunately face to face meetings are going to be less of a thing. So uh, providing a way of, of teaching coders and having the interaction. And I think, you know, I'm really proud of how to code well and how, how to code well has, um, turned into this nice safe space. You know, there's no, there's no, um, uh, arguments. There's no trolling. And if there is, it gets shut down, you know? So it's a nice, comfortable, safe environment for junior developers to come on or to people learning to code. I think that's, that's, uh, that's really important. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, okay. So Slayer Darth has made a very good point there about not understanding the underlying language. That is what I'll be focusing on, okay? So this isn't just, you know, I'm not going to go and talk about a framework straight off the bat. Like I said, this is going to be entry level. This is going to be beginner, beginner focused. A bit like the YouTube videos, or some of them, um, but more sort of like, well, live for a start. It's going to be live. So I'll be able to interact with people watching and you know it might take off it might not um but it's my way of of helping out um you know i am um i'm 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 currently looking after myself and i've been told that um you know uh the, the uk government here is thinking of of procedures and and slowly making uh making things a little bit more restricted so i'm kind of looking for projects myself <laughs> 
Anyway, I must dive off. I must go and um, get my breakfast and then go into uh, work. Well, I, w you know, I work remotely. I'm a remote dev anyway. But anyway, anyway thank you ever so much for watching. Um, I do appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> sorry for just uh, for, for just catching you, Slayer Darth. Um, I'm on the Discord server. If anybody has any questions or comments or any any um, suggestions on this particular subject, then do let me know. Put your thoughts down in the comments uh, in Discord, and then or catch me on Twitter. Anyway, on how to troubleshoot. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Anyway, happy coding, everybody. Happy coding, everyone. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Where's the off button? <laughs>